Yeah, that's correct, Jean. Mary Corliss is out on bail, but one of those bail conditions is that she have no contact with her children. She was in court this morning looking to change that. Now, Corliss faces several charges, including felony arson. Prosecutors alleging that in February of last year, she set fire to her home in Webster with the children barricaded inside. Now, both Corliss and the children suffered injuries in the fire that required hospitalization. The children med flighted to Boston. The state contends that Corliss set the fire and the children confirmed that to first responders. The prosecution says allowing visits could cause the children mental anguish. In asking for supervised visits, though, with the children, the defense noted that Corliss is presumed innocent, adding that a report from the insurance investigator concluded that the state's case, in the words of the defense, is not a slam dunk. It is my professional opinion that the fire originated in the second floor southeast bedroom threshold area of the doorway to the hallway. The cause of the fire is undetermined. To open up and re-traumatize these, these children because she wants to see them based on this case, um, it, it, she is still, in the state's view, a danger to the public. Uh, the judge took the matter under advisement. We also learned more about the trial after the defense said it rejected the prosecution's plea bargain. Both sides expect the trial will take about a week. At least three expert witnesses will be called. And because of scheduling conflicts, the trial won't take place until January of 2023. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.